Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Sha. Oh, H to the I D. What? Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Now let me stop playing. All right, so I decided since I got a new backdrop and everything, I'm really feeling the videos. I was like, let me do a new introduction because the old introduction started from the bottom. Now we're here, right? I Listen, I done came up. I done came up. Watch. And pretty soon, I'm going to be, you know, because right now I'm in the studio. But what? pretty soon, I'm going to be in a one-bedroom, one-living-room apartment in Germany. And I'm going to be having my stuff all nice and decorated. And y'all going to see my apartment in the background. And I won't have to have this backdrop. I don't know. Maybe I might keep the backdrop. But... I, I always like those YouTubers that have like those glitzy glam backgrounds, their bedrooms, whatever. And then you're like, oh my God, that's how they live in. How we live in. I'm telling you just how we live in. Okay. I know I can't sing, but I like to. Anyway, so introduction. My name is Shahida, a.k.a. Language Bay, a.k.a. LB, a.k.a. your favorite Brooklyn Knight located in Germany, right? Um, Just a little bit about me. I've always liked languages. I, I, I want to believe, my mom used to hang around a lot of people that were like Latin. We, I grew up in New York and Germany. And when we, when we were living in New York, she used to like really, I, for some reason, she really connected with the people that were like from Puerto Rico, from Panama, from Dominican Republic. She like, she really connected with them, you know? So I used to hear a lot of Spanish and I, I believe I probably heard it while I was inside her belly because I just always loved the language. I always wanted to learn it. And I also just seem to have affinity for languages because I started learning French and I caught onto that really quickly. I, I loved French so much. I kept a diary in French. Matter of fact, little story time. So I used to keep a diary because, you know, my my, my upbringing wasn't the best. Um, a lot of people don't know that because they all they see is I'm high maintenance. I act real prissy. I act like I'm too good for stuff. So they think I grew up like the Huxtables. And I'm like, honey, no, no, I did not grow up with the Huxtables. Like, I did not grow up like that. Like, there was no Theo, okay? There was no Dr. Huxtable, okay? There was no Claire, Okay, that's not how I grew up. I know it may seem like that, but I'm just bougie. That's it. <laughs> that's it. I just, I just always. So real quick, real quick. Um, I just was always like that. Like I have very humble beginnings. I'm, I'm not ashamed because it's not my fault. I was born into it. You know what I mean? I have very humble beginnings in Brooklyn and. We used to have some struggle meals. And don't get me wrong, not all of them was bad. Like, you know, they was good. Like, some of them I would eat now, even though I, you know, like, compared to then I got money. I don't have money, but I'm just saying compared to then, this is having money. I would eat it now. But a lot of them I didn't. I don't F-U-X with that. And so there was times when, like, my mother would, like, try to give me stuff, and I'd be like... Scoot it right back outside into the table like I'm not eating that it was a lot of times my mother was like who does this little girl think she is like what are you doing so I just you know <laughs> I digress and I don't even know what I'm digressing from but I digress that's that's just you know whatever um but anyway, I wish I could rewind this because now I forgot what I wanted to tell you guys. But I digress because that was the story time. And then I wanted to tell you all something else. And I just should have I should have just let that one go. But anyway, I'm supposed to be introducing myself. Oh, yeah. So anyway, um, basically, I was like, she got along and I, we used to hang around. It's a lot of people in New York. That's from like Puerto Rico. That's like normal. So I used to hear Spanish a lot in the stores. And I just always wanted to learn the language. Um, that's when I remember. Well, with French, I used to keep a diary because I didn't really have no one to talk to. I didn't have an older sister. I didn't have an older brother that I knew of and um, at the time. And um, I was very, very miserable about everything that was going on, about my mom, everything. Um, and I was living with my grandma at the time when I started, and I had the, um, the diary. 
and I used to hide it. And I guess she found it one day and she like totally ringed me out, like yelling at me. And I'm just thinking to myself, how are you yelling at me about how I feel? So you, so you telling me I can't feel this way, but this is, these are the things that are going on, right? And you want to tell me how to feel. I was like, so I let, I, I just said, what I'm going to do? I can't do nothing. So I sat there and let her read me out. I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. But in my mind, I was like, I got a trick for you. I threw that shit away. Excuse my language. Are we allowed to say that? That's not ladylike. Don't do that. Don't don't follow me. Anyway, I threw it away and I started a new diary in French. <laughs> I was like, read that. So, um, <laughs> but that actually helped me. That actually helped me get really good in French, like super good. And it's a shame because I didn't have like French connections. So I kind of lost my ability to really speak and write. Um, but it's still there. Like I'll see things in French and it'll start coming back. But anyway, just to let you know, and then German, um, I think I told this story on another video. I may not have, if I didn't tell it on the video, I know I wrote it in my bio. I learned German because of a boy, because I thought learning German would give me a chance with him. And then I want to say a couple of weeks into learning, I wouldn't even think about him no more. I just was learning just because I was liking being able to have conversations and stuff. And, and that just, I just identified with the feeling of I'm talking in another language and I'm understanding what these people are saying. And it was like basic at first, like I wasn't fluent, but it was like, I was catching on real quick. And then I was just like, Oh my God, I like this so much so that years later, somebody asked me why I learned German. I said, that's a good question. I had to sit and think about it. Cause I forgot. Cause I was like, I remember I didn't want to learn German. So why did I change my mind? I sat there and I thought, 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 thought. And then finally, I remember, I will never forget his name. His name was Valdemar. He was Russian. I think he was Russian. If he wasn't Russian, he was from the Ukraine, but he was either Russian or from the Ukraine. I, to this day, don't know why I had a crush on him. I think it was like my hormones were like off because he could never, he could never, honey. He could never. I don't know what I was thinking. But then again, you know, I feel like your hormones change with time. Because I used to I used to eat Cheetos heavy. I used to love me some Cheetos. And and hot Cheetos were okay, but I really liked the regular Cheetos. I used to eat that like every day. It was horrible. And um, now it's like Cheetos are all right. You know, and another thing, I used to love chocolate. Now I'm like, chocolate's all right. You know, I like gummy bears. So much so, I went on a date, and this guy brought gummy bears to the date. I said, wow, he really trying to get some. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, so th this is just, this video is just for you to get to know me. I'm not going to keep it long. It's already eight, eight minutes, but just want you to kind of get a feel for who I am as a person, because you know that whole know you, like you, trust you thing. I want you guys to feel like you know me. I'm accessible. Like there's, there, I've, I've made a lot of friends because of this platform. Like I've met up with people, you know, um, because of this platform, because they're following me on Instagram and they've reached out to me for advice, whatever the case may be. You know, I'm a very friendly person. I love to help, you know, as long as it's not going to inconvenience me, I'll help you, you know? And, um... I've made so many friends. I've met people in real life. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm accessible. I'm probably one of the most accessible YouTubers out there, like for real. Um, because I, I really want you to contact me and I really want you to help me. I mean, I want to help you. I mean, if you could help me, that's cool too. I don't mind. But really, I just want to help you. You know, I want you to be a part of the community. Because one of the things is I noticed in the language community, you don't really see a whole lot of brown faces. And I'm not talking about tan. I'm talking about brown, like me, or, or you know, darker. You don't see that a lot. And, you know, I just want black people to know we're out here. We're learning languages. I mean, specifically women. Because I'm a woman, I identify with women, and I know what women want. I know what women need. So that's why my platform is on women. But... Uh, there's another girl. She also has a platform for black people in general called Black Bilingual. I will put the link to her group in the description box below. Um, hers is catered toward black people in general. So it's men and women in the group. Um, but I just want black people to not be discouraged when they look at these language events 
and they don't see anyone that looks like them on a panel. You know, I don't want them to feel discouraged because all the resources that are out there do not, the people who are offering these services do not look like us. You know, all the people that are getting interviewed for their expertise in languages don't look like us. You know, th I see it changing lately, you know, especially since I was invited to be a part of the Women in Language um, online event for two years in a row. That was really cool. And I see the shift in wanting to include us, you know. Um, however, we still need our own space regardless. You know, even if you now want to welcome you, now want to welcome us into your space, you, we still need our own space. We still need our own space to kiki about stuff we only understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, we still need that. So that's why I'm here. Um, I want to offer that space to us. Um, but yeah, like, that's pretty much it. I guess that's, a, I guess that's, I don't know what else you want to know. Um, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Um, New York to the heart, but got love for all. Like, you know, I'm from Brooklyn. Um, I live in Germany, you know, I kind of spent my formative years here. So I can feel like I grew up between Brooklyn and Germany. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I like to travel, you know, um, uh, my goal this year, low key, I'm trying to go on vacation. I want to go on a vacation with Bay. In order to do that though, there must be a Bay. Bay must exist. Right now, Bay does not exist. So, I'm trying to figure out a way to make that happen. Don't know how, but, you know, I have faith in the universe. And I know you guys are going to send me, like, positive vibes, sprinkle, sprinkle on me. Because I really want that to happen. I've never been, no, that's not a lie. I've been on, if you want to call it that. I've been somewhere with my ex, I'll say it like that. That was not really a vacation. It, I mean, I didn't have to pay, but still, like, it. we went to Tunica, and there was nothing to do but gamble. I thought it was like Las Vegas, where they have, like, shows, and this, and that, and you can eat, and no, Tunica is like, literally casinos. That's it. So, we basically, I'm like, I'm not gambling my money away. I mean, if you want to give me money to gamble, we can do that, but I'm not gambling my money away. So, we gambled a little bit. And then we basically spent the whole week in the hotel room watching Bones, like old people, you know? Um, that was boring. Um, if I ever have to do something like that again, where we're forced to be in the hotel room for a week, I would like it to be with somebody I'm crazy about. You know what I'm talking about. Um... <laughs> so that way it won't be boring. We won't be like old people. We'd be the furthest thing from old people. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I just feel like I want to say more to you guys, but I don't know. I guess that's a good introduction. You know, if you want, you can reach out to me. Like I said, I'm really accessible, especially on Facebook. Um, I'm very accessible. Instagram, I'm very accessible. My links are in the description box below. Um, you know, if you like what you hear here right now, um, then just subscribe, you know, be my friend. Let's be friends, you know, um, also hit the notification bell so that you're notified each and every single time that I upload a video. So that'd be really cool too. Um, other than that, hmm, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what else to say. I feel like, cause the thing, this is the thing. I always talk to my friends and my friends are like, oh my God, you're so funny. You should do a video on this or you should do a video on that, you know, that, and it's never language related stuff. So I'm like, okay, where do I do this video? So I have another channel. I still haven't done that in real funny. It's just, um, a lot of them suggest I talk about dating, <laughs> the travesty known as dating. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know if they're quite ready for that. I don't know if they're quite ready because... You know, like one of the comments, and I don't know if we allowed to say curse words. I don't typically do that, but you know, sometimes you have to throw something in there, depending, just to make it, give it the, the, the dramatic effect. But like I was talking to my friend one time and she had broke up with her fiance because, you know, he wasn't doing what he's supposed to do. And I was telling her like, I'm so damn tired of 
that like you know and she's they want you to they want you to bring every I, first of all i don't bring nothing to the table i'm gonna tell you that right now i'm an honored guest okay i don't do potlucks and yes i got that from shira seven i don't do potlucks i'm an honored guest so if i'm an honored guest you're cooking for me and you're gonna put the smorgasbord out for me if you want to have a potluck go find somebody who's going to bring stuff to the table because i ain't bringing nothing I'm the guest. The end. Anyway, I digress. So, I was just telling her, they want you to be able to do everything. And then, she was like, they don't bring nothing to the table. I was like, oh, they bring something to the table. And she was like, oh, yeah, they, they only want to bring their dick. And I'm like, yeah, but guess what? <laughs> the dick doesn't even work. How you bring in malfunctioning dick to the table and that's all you bring in? So, the one thing you bring in don't even work? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? And this is the state of dating. Like, literally, the state of dating. Like, you don't bring nothing to the table. You want everything from me. And the only thing you got to offer is a dick that don't work. Okay. Right. So, anyway. Because of this conversation, my friend was like, Oh my God, you should do an advice column. I've had a couple friends say that. But nobody wants me to put their business out there. That's the problem. Nobody wants me to tell their story. Because let me tell you, if I told some of the stories, yeah, you guys wouldn't, you'd be like, what? No, that's not real. Yes, it's real. It's real. Yes, we women are doing these things. Well, and I say we for solidarity because I ain't doing that stuff no more. But yes, women are out here doing these things. So I'm going to keep it short ish because it's still 60 minutes 70 minutes um but yes i hope this was enough to because that old video like the whole bootleg in the bronx with the fan because i didn't have air conditioning because it went out and i was being cheap and i didn't want to buy an air conditioner because they don't have central heating and central air in new york because it was a pre-war building with pink bathtub and a pink toilet like that whole struggle thing I really just don't want that to be my main video anymore. So here we are. Um, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video. Besitos. Language Bay.